Why did you decide to end the hunger strike? Uh, the meeting. The meeting with Li Peng. <coughs> the meeting with Li Peng have clearly indicated. The meeting with the government have clearly indicated that this time, uh, having a hunger strike, and then hoping that hunger strike, such a emotional, such a moving, uh, high moral pressure still wouldn't change the government of, from their minds. And then the student leaders were under tremendous uh, moral uh, responsibility and, and, and pressure that we came together and we thought we can, if we don't call for, for an end for this mass hunger strike, we worry after six days there's going to be some irreversible, uh, we, we worry somebody may die. Basically, that's uh, so. Uh, we uh, student leaders couldn't couldn't carry on that uh, uh, moral uh, burdens. So, student leaders have decided to call for ending of the hunger strike and change it into a mass sit-in. Yeah. When the government called for the meeting with you and the premier, what did you expect was going to happen? <coughs> well, uh, th this is what we have always been asking for and what, what we want. Uh, we uh, The first time we asked for Li Peng to come out was uh, was in the uh, Hu Yaobang's funeral, April 22nd. Um, four of us as the student representative walk in and asked for Li Peng to come out. Three of them actually kneeled down asking for them. I was the one who decided to not kneel. But, you know, it's a, it, it can demonstrate students strong eager to have a Counter talk, have a dialogue with the government, and we named Li Peng, we named the, pre the premier. Um, almost a month later, he agreed to meet us. Well, still, after hunger strike, we ma we managed to make that happen. We are, of course, very happy for the chance. We went to the, uh, but of course, at the time we were also exhausted and uh, and very angry uh, that it took so long for the government to come up, and then that we are frustrated, thousands of uh, hunger strikers are sitting in a, in a hard cold floor of, uh, of, uh, of Tiananmen Square, uh, ground of Tiananmen Square, uh, dying. Uh, all these are extreme pressure for us. So when we were received in the great hall of people, Li Peng came in, uh, he gave this um, endless monologue. Uh, uh, we immediately, we realized this is not a counter talk. This is not the thing we wear. We are looking for, we're hoping for. This is nothing equal. This is a lecture, one-way lecture. And uh, basically we also know, we also have, have realized uh, that uh, we may not be able to get what we want this time. This may be a turning point. It uh, indicates a clear uh, failure of the movement. But it's a, it's a nationally televised meeting. Uh, at least we should take this chance to let the people understand where we are. We should take this chance to let the government uh, uh, understand where we are. We should let the people see um, how people should respond to the government. If we want a counter to be an equal counterpart with the government, we should earn that. <coughs> we should demonstrate that we have that power and we have that willingness. Um, I had a brief exchange with Wang Dan uh, sitting next to me and I decided to cut him off, uh, to, to interrupt Li Peng. And then, uh, that, that was nationally, uh, that was nationally uh, broadcasted, televised and, uh, and, and edited. Uh, it wasn't a live uh, uh, broadcast, it was, it was a live recording, but nothing was edited out. It was amazing, amazing action i don't know how did how did this happen but i think perhaps the government uh, didn't think too much of that or cctv's uh, people just decided that this is a, such a good show for the chinese people and that um chinese people don't really get used to uh, see a 21 year old student uh, interrupting uh, the state heads um, the response from the people is overwhelming the letters coming in uh, expressing their supports or donations uh, fly in to Beijing Normal University. It was, uh, on, it was uh, the transcript of the dialogue was, uh, uh, was published on the People's Daily the second day, word to word. And uh, of course, our, the, uh, along with our names, 
along with uh, our school. Uh, therefore, the people find a target to write their letters, sh show their uh, support, and uh, even send their donations. Uh, from the second day, I have start to receive letters. The third day, letters come in a uh, huge parcel. Fourth day, came in truck. Uh, that's the uh, that's the support. That's then we the the hope raised again. Of course, the hope came that uh, maybe if we escalated the pressure one more time. Uh, well, we we keep escalating the pressure. We we f from a one demonstration to another to hunger strike we did manage to get the premier out if we if the people really join us if the if we can manage a bigger demonstration who knows and then the as i as i said the logic of a mass movement begin with that we are underdog uh, more likely we're going to be suppressed but there is a genuine chance that we're going to change that verdict we're going to force the government to force our opponent to make a better choice that's the logic of a mass movement and then at that time uh, with more people joining us it seemed to be a valid choice although for me I after they have released the martial law after many messages comes in and suggesting that this time government yelling is is, is very it's, it's near impossible that we as a student leader have a res moral responsibility to avoid bloodshed uh, so toward the end of the May, I was uh, campaigning on, on the students to withdraw from uh, Tiananmen Square. You're sitting down with the Prime Minister of China. Um, I mean, in, in this kind of situation, it would be expected he would be there to lecture to you. Mm -hmm. That's the general Chinese tradition that you know the leaders are going to lecture the, ch the younger generation. There's no, there's never really been much of a sense of the younger generation speaking out against their elders, much less on national television. So what? What ever got into your mind that you should have the right or that you should or give you the courage then just to interrupt him and tell him, you know, this is what we want to talk about? I was a representative. I wasn't just a student. That, that thing I know, it's a very clear sense. I am there only because there are thousands of hunger strikers behind me. There are hundreds of thousands of students, millions of Chinese people hoping for me to speak for them, to have this earn this opportunity to speak to the government. And I wasn't speaking to a premier. I was I was the people. I was representing the voice of the people and speaking to the government in a fashion that it should be, according to our belief, according to the to the spirit of this movement. Um, this is not like something that I, I I come up later years later to describe that, but at that moment, that's how I felt. I wasn't myself. I I I did the right thing. I did the only right thing that I need to speak equally and affirmatively was was the government. So in the immediate aftermath, what was the emotional sense of where things were going after you met with the premier? Well. Uh, the the it was the, uh, televised in that evening. We met in the in, in the afternoon and then televised in the evening, which is a good thing. Televised in a more higher viewership time, uh, and then when we learned it was televised, it was a shock. I mean, we saw the CCTV was there, and then after we after I did I said what I said. I was thinking perhaps they're gonna edit out. They're going to make it look differently. Um, but then no, they didn't. They didn't uh, cut anything off. They and then even the second day, People's Daily run the transcript word to word. And then um, did I accomplish something? Yes, we did accomplish something. We accomplished. We demonstrated to the government as well as Chinese people. This is how it should be. This is how people's relation with the government. How the people's relation with the government should be, not subject to the rulers, rather citizen to governments. So uh, um, it should be equal. It should be counter talks when they are incapable of adjusting their attitudes. We are uh, capable of adjusting ours uh, to rise as equal. <clears throat> that, uh, no matter how. I am certain will have a strong significance to Chinese people, to China, 
to to this state to this long traditional state where where there has always been a hierarchy there has always been this this idea of uh, uh, people acting as a people which means uh, being submissive uh, that has changed that has a, that has of course has a significance but we, of course we, we as a student uh, leader student organization uh, leaders um, we carry more responsibility than just uh, giving people inspiration we should try to get something concrete out of uh, out of this movement